Welcome back to News 2 F4. Lightning strikes, not only dangerous, of course, but they can cause some major problems for technology. And that is exactly what happened to some key equipment at Clarksville City Council Chambers. Meteorologist Mary Mays has more on the big impact this one strike had the city's ability to communicate. Oh yeah, you know, the lightning actually struck the building across the street from the city council chambers, but even an indirect strike can wreak havoc on phones, computers, and other technology. Here's how the city is dealing with this damage. The surge of electricity took out a few important pieces of technology and citizens did notice a few changes. It caused uh, an electrical surge is my understanding, which damaged uh, a number of pieces of equipment, approximately 40 pieces of hardware, including everything from computers and phones and I believe a TV monitor and um, probably the one that most people have noticed was our captioning hardware that generates the closed captions for city council meetings. While the captioning equipment is being repaired, they're using a cloud-based captioning service so folks can still see what's going on during those city council meetings, something more people are tuned into right now with it being election season. After realizing that the issue was there, uh, our IT team immediately began working on it. Uh, that's been a few weeks now and they've managed to replace a little more than half of the equipment uh, replace, repair, and or send it off to the vendors to be repaired, uh, restoring a lot of the function. There's still some things to go. Once this work is finished, they plan to have a setup that's more resistant to electrical surges. It's hard to predict the weather, um, but we can do things to, to lower the chances of things like electrical issues. We're also working on taking this opportunity to improve some of our background processes. All right, well, the city of Clarksville will also be focusing more on streaming on platforms like YouTube. You can find more information at WKRN.com.